An important differentiation technique says something about the derivative of composite functions. And this rule is called the chain rule. Well, suppose we focus on two functions f and g, and uh, the range of g is contained in the domain of f, and uh, suppose that a is some value in the domain of g, such that um, g is differentiable in a. And also suppose that, so g prime a exists, And suppose that f is differentiable in g of a. Yeah, so since the range of g is contained in the domain of f, f through g, so the composite function f through g is well defined, and we cannot say more, because this composite function is differentiable in a, and uh, the derivative uh, can be calculated by taking the product of uh, g prime in a and f prime in g a. Yeah, so the composite function f through g evaluated, the derivative evaluated in a exists while it exists, and we may calculate it as a product of the respective derivatives. So for example, take a composite function uh, h of x equals the square root of 1 plus e to the power x, then the inner function is defined as g of x is 1 plus e to the power x, which is differentiable and has domain r and is always positive, and the outer function is f u equals the square root of u. So the composite of these functions equals h. So h of x equals f through g in x for all x is in r. Now, for any x we may calculate the derivative of g. So g of x prime equals e to the power x. And for u larger than zero we may calculate f prime of u, which is a half times u to the power minus a half. The chain rule for differentiation now says that for any value a, the composite function h of x is differentiable. And uh, for instance, if we try to find the derivative in 1, then the only thing we need to do to find it is calculating the derivative of f evaluated in g1 times the derivative of g in 1. And this equals a half times 1 plus e to the power minus a half. Yeah, g of 1 equals 1 plus e. So we get a half times 1 plus e to the power minus a half times e to the power 1. 